Are we having a good time? I hope we're having a good time because we're having a good time. So uh, I have a Daily Bits coming out tomorrow, and I kind of touch on this, but um, I've got to sit down, and I was watching Irish Demon and Colin from DLZ Clips uh, talk about the crazy shit that was going on with that. Now, if you're not familiar with Colin, he is an editor of Chili's. He actually basically made all the content for DLZ Clips. Uh, part of the success of the Delete Laws channel and DLC clips comes from Colin. Now, we've made a video about Colin before, whenever I was trolling him about the Taylor Swift thing. Now, I don't want to, I, I don't hate Colin. Colin, uh, you're watching this. I don't hate you, dude. I'm not, I'm not going to pick on you. Um, I'm glad you told your story because I think a lot of people should see that. Um, there's a lot of things so far that has been, um, pretty much how we thought it was. Um, we didn't really get a clear answer on bot subs, but obviously that's what's going on there. Bots, uh, Colin did say a lot of it did come from shorts, which is highly possible. Uh, I'm not saying that's it, but a lot of people do watch the shorts. Shorts are very popular, but, um, that doesn't necessarily equate to long-term viewers or subscribers. Um, usually if you watch a short, you're only going to be there for, what, 60 seconds, 30 to 60 seconds, and then they're gone. And you usually won't come back to it unless the videos or something pops back up or if you're subscribed. In case of Chili stuff, um, you know, a lot of people like the frauding stuff they, they do. Uh, unfortunately, it, it is a cringy thing to behold. Um, but for some odd reason, the Sovereign Citizen uh, charade is quite popular right now, as sad as that can be. You know, you have these people that could have normal jobs contributing to society, except they just want to go into a public space, put a camera in a public official's face, and cuss them out because freedom? Freedoms. Free fucking freedoms. That's what we're doing today. It's freedoms. I'm going to tell you guys this. I'm here for your freedoms, your First Amendment freedoms, and your 14th Amendment freedoms. Oh, God, I hate myself. <laughs> so, anyways, um, it's pretty interesting stuff, what's going on with uh, the Irish Demon Colin thing. Um, I don't want to take the, anything from him, because he has a way bigger channel than me, right? Um, and I suggest you, if you can, uh, go to Irish Demon's channel. Um, if he's not live now, um, check out his... Um, you know, his light, latest live video, it's, they're usually on demand, so you can check it out that way. Um, it's pretty, pretty good. I haven't got to watch the whole thing yet because it's still going, but I wanted to make this video uh, before things get fun because I got things to do today. Um, but, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of questions that are being answered, and um, I'm glad the Irish Demon was able to put this together because, you know, Irish Demon's the man. Uh, I love the guy. I'm hoping to be on his channel one of these days. Um, yeah. But as far as Colin goes, Colin, I know you're not going to watch this. I know you're not going to see this. Um, one, uh, I hope you're okay. Two, I hope you're not afraid of what's this pencil dicked chili is going to do. Um, he's going to make you look like a monster, um, probably. Yeah, I don't think you are. You seem like you're a pretty level-headed guy. Um, understand money. Money is important. Um, as well as, well, living or having a home. Um, I seen that she was on hard times, um, and I apologize for bringing that up on the last video. I normally don't apologize to people, but after watching some of uh, the interview... Uh, with Fire Steaming, uh, good for you. Good for you. I hope you're doing good now. I hope you can find you a good job uh, or continue being successful uh, some other way. The last thing you want to do is be in a hard spot where you don't have a place to live, where you're living on a couch somewhere or not having a vehicle. That's rough. Um, as far as the schemes of Chile, we... Kind of have a good idea of what's going on now. Chili's not the owner of Delete Laws. Never was. Chili is using this as a grift. Um, 
He never completes his projects. It's all for money. It's all for views. None of this stuff is legitimate. Uh, you know, I, I I like rights on. He's a nice guy. It, he's a really nice guy. Okay. Um, some people will frown upon me for saying that. I have not had, like, I think at the beginning, uh, when I, when I was first going after Chili, it was kind of a thing, but I like Rights On, and I like some other people that's on there that follows Chili. Listen, guys, there's better people for this. There is. There's people that's in it for not the fame and the money. Um... It's, it shouldn't be just about fame and money. Um, if you're saying you're going to change the world, maybe you should do it for changing the world's sake, not being a fucking clown. Uh, <laughs> as for Chili saying he's quite famous, he's not. Uh, he is famous in our circle because everybody likes to shit on him. He's our favorite lol cow at the moment. And when he's gone, we'll probably go back to Chris Chan or Cyrax or... I don't know, Boogie, which I, I hate to say that about Boogie, but yeah. I don't know, guys. I don't know, guys. I, what do you guys think? I hope I hope you guys give Irish Demon a chance. Uh, go in with a clear mind when um, checking out Colin. I think the stuff he was saying was uh, eye-opening and true. I don't think he was lying. Um, I know Chili will spin this uh, in his favor, but... Yeah, go. I just want you guys to go check out um, Irish Demon stuff. This is just me pushing you there. Uh, so, guys, I love you very much. I'll see you soon.